Right, first thing we're going to do is go to the QSC website uh, to get the firmware update. So open up a browser. I'm using Firefox. So here we go. Type in QSC update. And I clicked on the software and firmware link. Let's see if this works. Oh, there it is. Uh, TouchMix software. Now I'd have the TouchMix 16. So this looks like that we're in the right uh, section here. Got the firmware. And I'm on a Mac. So if you were on Windows, you would look at that link. But I'm on the Mac, so let's click on this and see what we need to do. Okay, so before downloading, follow these steps. Launch the Finder on your Mac and type Archive Utility. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, it's Command C on your keyboard. Go to the Finder, paste it in there, hit Enter, and there it is. So let's open it up. Let's click on it. Let's go to the menu bar of the Archive Utility, and we're going to select Preferences and we're going to uncheck keep expanding if possible. Okay, so let's un uncheck it. It looks like the next step six, seven, eight, were if you were using Safari as a browser. So you will need that. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's go ahead and download it. And I'm going to save the file and I'll go to my downloads folder. It doesn't take too long to download, a few minutes. Um, I have, you know, obviously edited the video for time's sake. There's the uh, file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and put it on my thumb drive, which I've already got plugged in uh, to my computer. So Command-C, and then you can go Command, uh, click, uh, press on Command, Option, and then V on your keyboard, and it'll actually cut it over. So there it is. So I went ahead and double clicked it while I was on the thumb drive and I've expanded it. So now let's take it over the board. It's on the thumb drive, I plugged it in, gonna plug it in the back of the board. And what we're gonna do now, go to the menu, uh, mixer setup. And you can see your current version now of your software you have. So I'm on like 2.1, so it's obviously old. So I'm due for the upgrade. So click upgrade, click proceed. Want you to confirm it again, click yes. And now what it's basically doing is taking the firmware on the thumb drive and you know, putting it onto the uh, board itself. This takes a few minutes. It definitely takes a, a little bit of a process. And your screen will go black a few times, pop back on, etc. So there it is. So now it's recognized it. So let's select it, the, uh, the firmware, and click proceed. It asks if you want to proceed again, click yes. And now it's going to basically, you know, um, upgrade it on your board. You said the upgrade was successful. You want to reboot? Yes. Pretty straightforward process for the most part. This takes a few minutes to, you know, uh, about 10 minutes actually, so. Definitely have to have a little patience with it. And when the new... Um, uh, version of the firmware pops up, you would definitely be surprised because it looks completely different. That's the first thing I noticed. I was a little taken back by it. Um, but yeah, I navigated around with it for about five minutes and everything's still in there and uh, I couldn't notice anything really differently other than just the interfacing. So I went ahead and called up one of my previous scenes, just so you know when, you, when you're, it does upgrade the firmware, your scenes, it won't be, it won't display them, you have to go back in and recall them, so FYI, I was pretty happy to see that they were all still in there. Anyhow, yeah, the cool thing is, is you uh, all your auxiliaries are right to your left hand side, so you get to your monitor mixes super fast now, versus having to go through a few menu prompts like you did before. So yeah, it definitely looks a little different, and uh, getting into the monitor mixes are, seems to be a lot easier. I didn't really think it was a problem before, but hey, it's a little bit easier now.